Well, darn. We've all run into that situation where we didn't realize something was in frame and then it was in frame, we recorded it, we didn't mean to record it, but it was still there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove an object for free in DaVinci Resolve. Before we get started with that, my name's Ray. This is Lit with Ray. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on creativity and technology, so consider subscribing. And now, let's get into this. So before we get started with this, I just want to say thank you to everyone. We finally hit 100 subscribers. How awesome is that? Now it's time to keep going. And just like that, we're going to keep going with this. So, you know, let's do it. Now, there's two different reasons why you would want to use this method. Number one, you have the free version. There is nothing wrong with the free version. It's a fully capable version, but it is missing a couple of features like object removal. Number two, you have DaVinci Resolve Studio, but you cherish your resources. Why? Because object removal is super intensive, like ridiculously so. Especially if you want to focus on other really cool things that you can do in the color tab or even with Fusion, you don't want to worry about object removal because, you know, it's a pain in the ass. Sure, object removal in Studio is very clean and it's very nice, but one, it's going to slow down your rendering cache. Two, it's gonna double your rendering time. And three, if you overuse it, you're asking for trouble. Especially if you're heavy on like noise removal and things like that. All is not lost though. If you're in a pinch, this method is definitely gonna help you out. You can stop cursing yourself for not going all out to buy the studio version or upgrading your GPU to the highest level that you possibly could because you were trying to save a couple of bucks. I can't blame you. I'm always looking to save a couple of bucks. And not just deer. Like, you know, because if you hit them with your car, it's going to be really bad. So there's actually two different methods to accomplish the same task. And they both kind of work hand in hand, but one of them's kind of cheating, which is zooming in. Because you're going to lose a lot of the extra detail on the outside. But of course, you know, if you zoom in, then you zoom in on the edit tab. So if you zoom in, obviously you can see the light and the microphone, they're out of frame. Problem solved, right? Okay, end of video. Just kidding, there's actually another way, way number two. So let's get into that one. What I wanna do, I'm gonna reset my zoom because, you know, I don't really need it. So first thing we're gonna do is just go to the color tab. I am going to color correct this real quickly, so give me two seconds. So we're done with that. All right, awesome. So I have this completely like color corrected and all that. Now let's get into removing some of this extra junk that's in the screen because, you know, it's in the screen. It's distracting. I don't like to be distracted. I get distracted way too easily. So let's get rid of it. First thing I'm going to do is create a new node. I'm going to name it OR and I'm going to say mic because I know the light could be bothering you. We're focused on the mic right now. so. First thing, I'm gonna actually grab my window, power window over here, bring it up, and we're just gonna shrink it down a little bit, just like that. And you can see it's softened a little bit with the red dots. Next thing, I'm going to go over to the radius and for the blurring right here, and we're gonna actually drag this all the way up. Now the thing about this is you can actually tweak it a couple of different ways. Lift gamma gain, you can also play with your curves a little bit and try and get it to fit. There's really going to be no one solution fits all, so you have to find what works for the object that you're using in the in that particular instance. So with this one, what I want to do is actually create another one. So what I'm going to do is copy this and then create a new node and paste. All right, so I copied it over. As we can see, it kind of blurred it a little bit more and you can continue to blur it if you want. But what I want to do is actually expand my window a bit and see if I can't get this, get this to play nicely. You can go over to your log wheels and try and play with the shadows here. And actually another thing that you can do is try and play with, I'm just gonna actually We can actually use our qualifier for this. So 
So I know it's not perfect and you can probably tweak it a little bit better to get rid of the objects. Every situation is gonna be a little bit different, obviously. So you just have to find what works for you. And in fact, another thing that I can do is probably bring up my shadows a little bit more. There you go. Not the most perfect or the most clean, but this is gonna use a lot less resources than if you were to have used object removal. Object removal eats up so many resources, things that you don't need to eat up. Like, you can do better than that. You are better than that. So, you know, use blur. It's a better way to do it. Now what I'm gonna do is work on my light removal. Up here in the corner, you can see my light is definitely shining through. This is not gonna be perfect. In fact, you're not gonna be able to remove this entirely in the color page, but we can still try and do our best. What we're gonna do for this is rename it so I know what it is. And we're just gonna create a power window. For this one, I am going to use a rectangle and rotate it 45 degrees. In fact, stretch it out a little bit down here, like so. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna blur this. All right, so it's starting to blend. If we do it again, again, it's blending a little bit more. Now, for this one, you don't really want to play with the qualifier. And the reason is because the bar that was on here, that was on the light, this here, and actually some of these other colors are not going to fit into, into the qualification. So you really just have to play with it this way for right now. Again, what you can do is bring up your shadow log. And that's actually a lot better than what I was expecting with this method. We can try and bring up the shadow log a little bit more. All right, so the colors might be off a bit, but overall, this is not bad. I'm just gonna soften this part of it real quick to get rid of that harsh edge. All right, cool. So not the most perfect but we can probably even drop it down a little bit, create more of a vignette to try and hide the fact that we just blurred out a huge object on the screen. What we can do for this, I would probably go to the back. So I would actually go back to my look adjustment node and I would just create a quick vignette for this. Um, go over here, create a gradient window, make sure I'm grabbing the right side of everything. And then do is just drag this down a little bit. Well, okay, maybe not that extreme. And for this, actually add in a little bit of red into the shadows because it, it kind of matches with the rest of the background. There you go. It's not perfect, but I think this works, definitely. So cool, I would totally use this. In fact, I did use this two weeks ago in my video, but I really didn't fine tune it as well as I did with this because, you know, I really didn't care that there was a light in view. I think it adds character, but it's something that might bother you. Well, hopefully this helped you out so you don't have to drop $300 on the studio version, but you know, if you do, there's a lot of really great features and it is really worth it. There are things that you're gonna be able to do with the studio version that you just can't do with this. Object removal obviously is something that you can work around, so you know, consider that. With that said, if you got value out of this, smash that like button for me. Don't forget to hit subscribe because you know I'm coming out with new videos all the time. Ring the bell too so you get notified when I come out with those videos and until next time, I'll catch you later.